Um, so I saw something on Twitter that I thought was pretty interesting from uh, the people that used, used to be Vlamber. The Vlamber no longer mm -hmm. exists. Uh, they were talking about uh, their game Nuclear Throne specifically, about how uh, when they were taking feedback from players, they were getting kind of skewed because they're like the players that gave them feedback were like their hardcore players, and they they didn't like represent their entire like player base so to speak. Um, and I was just curious, like, how that applied to Satisfactory, because we have a lot, we have a very active community, and a lot of people have various different um, opinions on the game. And I was just curious how we, how we take that into consideration when we make game design decisions. Mm -hmm. uh, that is actually a constant worry of mine, because that's, I feel, one of the hardest things when it comes to the balancing, is try to balance it for such a varied group of players, right? Because you have the super hardcore players that actually want to potentially max out everything that really have all the spreadsheets going. Um, they are looking to min-max everything. And then we have the more, the probably the larger player base that isn't to that level. Um, I try to keep a focus on both. Generally, when I balance, at least for recipes, it's more, more focused on the experience of making the recipe. Well, we have tools in place that um, that help us uh, facilitate to more advanced players, like the alternate recipes, I think is a very good example, because it allows us to add more complexity into certain recipes, while also making them more appealing to those type of players, because they're looking for efficiency uh, in their factory. Cool, so not me. <laughs> nope. I feel like I'm getting to that point now where, where I'm like, the the moderate player or like i i've dabbled in the advanced stuff but i don't like i don't care about 100 percent efficiency i just want to get it working mm. <laughs> and i've done like yeah. all the advanced production yeah and i think now. that's that's one of the good things about the game it is it is pretty open-ended when it comes to that you don't need to make everything 100 percent efficient if you don't want to and if it's too much effort and you have the option to make it more complex by going that route or taking recipes that are more efficient, but also more complex. Right. Uh, and you can kind of challenge yourself as well by trying to do really high end setups, like huge train setups, for example. But I think in the end, my hope is at least that we will have game wards to further support this. Yeah. So I would love to see, because I always see players asking for higher costs and stuff, because there's always these, these players, of course, that when they set up their first, Steel Factory, they just go over top and over the top and they just make, make a huge setup uh, and that is fun to them. But of course, there's also players that don't want to do that. So it's really hard to balance, for example, that cost of the milestones that is related to those setups. Because if you make it too high, it's going to be super annoying for certain type of players because they're going to have to wait a shitload, shit long time to actually get the parts to complete those milestones. Mm. While well, for people <laughs> that want to do a huge setup, uh, it feels really underwhelming in a way. Like they're not really getting the reward out of making that big setup because the game doesn't re require them to do it. So I'm hoping that in the future we can add game modes that facilitate it, facilitate it at like higher cost uh, options, uh, maybe uh, a mode where the numbers are a lot cleaner for people that don't want to have to do all the crazy math all the time. Yeah.